Have you often felt like an outsider looking in on the rest of society? Have you often felt lonely and misunderstood? It can be an eye-opening moment in your life when you find out that you are an INFJ, one of the rarest MBTI personality types. So many INFJs go through life lost and confused, but it doesn't have to be this way. Your INFJ life can be drastically improved if you just know some key life-changing facts. Here are the things I wish every INFJ could know. You are not a freak or an alien. You are a caring and loving person that others sometimes misunderstand. There is nothing wrong with you. You are not crazy and there are others in the world just like you. You are not responsible for other people's behavior. You are not responsible for other people's feelings. You are not responsible for other people being rude to you. It's hard to believe, but we INFJs sometimes feel guilty because other people mistreat us. You are not responsible for other people's avoidance of deep topics. That's their problem. You are not responsible for people who want to avoid sharing their feelings. You are not responsible for being everyone's counselor. If you help people in this way, it should be because you want to, not because you have to. You are not responsible for making everyone happy all the time. It's nice to want people to be happy, but sometimes people simply will not let that happen, and that's okay. You are not wrong for caring about other people's feelings. The world would be a better place if more people cared about the feelings of others. You are not wrong for wanting everyone to be at peace and in harmony. You are not wrong for wanting fairness and justice in your environment and in the world. You are not wrong for seeing through other people's manipulative tactics. When necessary, you are not wrong for calling out these deceitful people. You are not wrong for seeing through people's groupthink, lies, and political agendas. You are not wrong for asking others if they're all right and if they'd like to talk about their problems. Even if this offends some people, it's a good thing and you are right to do it. You are not wrong for waiting on the right person with which to form a deep relationship. If someone simply cannot understand you, you should not form a deep relationship with them. You are not wrong for loving your alone time and actually gaining energy from it. If this video is helping you, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the INFJ circle. It's okay that as an INFJ, you are clumsy sometimes and that you sometimes forget where you put things. After all, your mind is on bigger things. It's okay to admit that you want to change the world. It's okay that you sometimes warn other people of the future outcomes of their illogical behavior. It's okay if someone doesn't take your advice. That's their problem, not yours. You did your part. It's okay that you actually look someone in the eye when you speak to them. It's okay that sometimes you cut toxic or negative people out of your life. After all, INFJs absorb energy from others, both positive and negative. If someone calls you clingy or needy, then there's a high chance that that person is not someone you want to be in a deep relationship with. After all, some other people call that loyal and caring. It's okay that some people sometimes think you're strange or aloof. You know that you care more deeply than they can ever imagine. It's okay that you can't stand to talk about the weather. It's okay that you like to see progress in yourself and that you love to see it in others. It's okay that you're not content with the status quo and you always want to see progress. After all, someone has to keep the world moving forward. It's okay that sometimes people get freaked out by your ability to see future events and predict outcomes. You know it's just how your mind works. Let them call you psychic if they want to. It's okay if you get frustrated that you can't find others that can connect with you as deeply as you want them to. Keep looking and use the internet to expand your connections. It's okay that you absorb the feelings of others and that sometimes you can't tell if you are feeling something or the other person is feeling something. Keep working on identifying your true wants and needs. It's okay to feel old and wise and yet young and naive at the same time. That's called being an INFJ. It's okay if you can't find the words to explain something you're feeling. After all, your emotions and ideas run deep and strong, sometimes too strong for words. It's okay to love beautiful, high-quality things. INFJs have a deep appreciation for beauty. It's okay that you might engage in an everyday activity and not even remember doing it because you were in your head the whole time. INFJs are mind-driven, and extroverted sensing, which is obtaining sensory information from the real world, is not our strong point. 
It's okay that social engagements drain your energy and that you need time alone to recharge. As an INFJ, you have rights, even if some people make you feel like you don't. You have a right to be listened to. That doesn't mean that you will be, but you have a right to be listened to. You have a right to say no to people who are using you to accomplish their agendas. Saying no is not arrogant or proud. It's one of the ways you care for yourself as an INFJ. You have a right to establish boundaries. You have a right not to be abused, manipulated, or taken advantage of. You have a right to be loved for who you are. As an INFJ, it's not likely that your major problem is that you're too concerned with yourself above others. You have a right to overanalyze every conversation you have with others. I mean, it might not be the healthiest thing, and it might be something you want to cut down on, but it truly does show how much you care. You have a right to be an INFJ. And know this, you, my INFJ friend, are not alone. The world needs INFJs, and the world needs you. INFJs often go through life misunderstood, but they are beautiful, honest, and loyal souls. However, every personality has its dark side. If you'd like to know the six dirty secrets INFJs refuse to talk about, watch this video next.